The first conducting pattern that we're going to demonstrate is the two pattern. The two pattern is used for music that is indicated by the meter signatures two, four. Two beats to the measure, bottom number, a quarter note gets one beat. Two, two. Top number two, two beats to the measure, bottom number two, half note gets one beat. Cut time. Two, eight then. Half, two beats to the measure for the top number, bottom number eight, an eighth note gets one beat. The first beat is accented, and the second beat is unaccented. So generally for choral music, we'll have an accented syllable on the downbeat, such as G of Jesus, or save of Savior. And the upbeat will have an unaccented syllable, such as Vior of Savior, or Zuz of Jesus, or perhaps just a continuation of a one-syllable strong word, or the strong a accented syllable, such as Lord, which would be getting two beats, both the downbeat and the upbeat. It's important that the downbeat be in the center of the body, like this, not to the right, not up here, not down here. That means if it's in the center, you, the singers are looking directly at you, and you have the advantage then of using your face, using facial figures, uh, facial gestures, such as raising the eyebrows, frowning, or, or a nice smile, if you like, the, like what you're hearing. So, re, uh, uh, so the two beat, down and up. Generally, there are two forms for, uh, for the two pattern. Simply straight down and up, down, up, down, up. This pattern is used generally for music that is very fast, very fast. And then this pattern, which is more shaped more like a banana, down, up, down, up. And that's used for music that is more legato. Personally, I prefer this and have used this almost uh, any time I've directed a two pattern. Before any of the beat patterns are used, we have to know how to begin. We have to know how the singers are going to know when to sing together, when to begin the piece. This is accomplished by the preparatory beat. The preparatory beat performs this function, but it also indicates tempo. It also indicates style, whether the hymn is going to be sung at legato or staccato. And it also indicates to the singers to breathe. And this is important. And in fact, conductors, when they're given the preparatory beat, they should breathe with the singers. This is very, very important. Now, some conductors use two beats as a preparatory, as a pre preparation to singing. When, when the music begins on a full beat, then the preparatory beat is either one full beat in advance of the first sung note, or as I just said, some conductors prefer, prefer to give two beats. My personal preference is to use simply one beat I found that when two beats are used as a preparation, singers will sometimes begin singing on the second preparatory beat. So therefore, I, I always uh, recommend the only one preparatory beat be given. The preparatory beat for the two pattern should begin at the right side of the conductor with a hand in its, in its proper shape, wrist horizontal to the floor, fingers close together, elbow same height, and separated from the side. Not like this, but like this, on the right side. Now, before we even begin the preparatory beat, we, we have to get the attention of the singers. This is very, very important. So, when, so the first thing the conductor does is he places his hand to the right and stops. While, while his hand is there, he already has in his mind how the tempo of the piece and, whether, and how it's going to be, how he wants it to sound. Is it going to be legato? Is it going to be staccato? All that's necessary, 
necessary and has to be shown just by the preparatory beat. So the, the conductor is looking, has eye contact with the singers. The singers should be looking at the director, at the conductor. They certainly know the first note and the first syllable of their hymn. The conductor definitely has to know much more than the first note. We do not want the conductor to begin a preparation beat and then bow his head. All eye contact was with the singers. What do you think the singers are going to do? They're going to imitate him, and they're going to bow their head. And we will never begin together. So, position. Looking at your singers. Eye contact. Now, we raise the hand, and we have the downbeat and the upbeat. Down and up. So, let's repeat that. This is a preparatory beat for the two pattern. Hand to the right, at attention. Eye contact with the singers. Breathe, down, up, down, up. Let's do that again. Eye contact, breathe with the, prepar with the preparatory beat, breathe with the singers, and indicate by the way in which the preparatory beat is given, whether it's fast tempo, slow tempo. We'll give an example of that. This is the fast tempo. Eye contact. Breathe. Have in mind already the tempo. It's going to be a fast tempo. One, two, one, two. Now let's do a slower tempo and legato. Position, eye contact, breathe, one, two, one, two. When the piece of music or hymn or song begins on an upbeat, the position of the hand for the preparatory beat is in the center of the body, slightly above the waist. So attention, eye contact, breathe, sing. Let's do that again. Attention, eye contact, breathe, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we've gone through the preparatory beat and we can get the singers to begin singing together. Now we have one last thing to do before we can start conducting music, and that is how to get the singers to stop singing. We do this by means of what is referred to as the release or the cutoff. There are two forms of the cutoff that use both hands. And the cutoff itself with the right hand is making the letter C and with the left hand, a backward C. That's called the outward C cutoff. So let's demonstrate that with four measures of two pattern. Position, eye contact, breathe. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two. The other form of the C cut off, called the inward C. The right hand is going to make a backward C, and the left hand the letter C. Same four measures of two pattern. Position, eye contact, breathe. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two.